perspective, I always see that um, whatever happened to you, the ego is so wants to protect you. Mm -hmm. So it comes up with a defense around that. So the whatever happened, what you're really what's the leftover is really your def your ego's defensive reaction to that. And so it's not actually the event that you're coping with anymore. It's the the leftover of the conditioning that the ego created actually to protect you. So it's a sign that you have a healthy mind because you had a mechanism to maybe, maybe you're stressed out all the time, but that's what the ego decided would be better than you just being like, oh, whatever, you know? <laughs> so it, it's just kind of like uh, over overly trying to protect you. And so if we can kind of have that approach of this, this defense is there, but it, it, it was there for a good reason. It wasn't, it was there, like you were already protected. You, the ego mm -hmm. did such a great job because you're alive here. You're surviving. Uh, it found a way. Even most of the time, the ego makes a very uh, fast decision, you know, of, of what to do uh, in that in moments, especially when something's like a surprise. So, uh, so it may kind of gotten a little out of alignment in a little bit, but it doesn't mean that it's it's because you're it, that event broke you. It means the event, the ego protected you, and so yeah. this, it's a healthy mind. And also this idea that if you just treat the ego, it, it, it'll it always feel like never, it'll never be fixed. It'll always be something else. It'll always, it's almost like we need that understanding of the true self to uh, to really, if whether we're working in a therapy environment and we're working with severe trauma or in a coaching environment, we're really seeing ourselves as from a deeper place. The only, I think, caveat i have to say and i'm sure you would agree is that we're not saying that oh i'm spiritual i wasn't harmed and you push it away and you don't no. but you, it's not spiritual bypassing that i want to make that clear we're not talking about saying oh nothing happened to you we we know things happen to people absolutely and and no the process is very much about working with our past experiences mm -hmm. what have we gone through what can we learn from them and uh, even the difficult stuff we know, or, or perhaps we could say that especially the difficult things teach us a lot about our own nature. Mm. They, they inform us. And so those experiences become fuel for our growth. Our self-realization. Uh, so yeah. whatever happened to you doesn't uh, define you. Uh, Jung says that I'm not what happened to me. I choose who I want to become, and that's for everybody. That's not yeah. just reserved for functioning people. That's for everyone can choose to transform and um, and transcend those experiences. That life sentence, that label of I um, have this label now that mm. I had trauma. It, it doesn't have to define you for the rest of your life. And uh, but we do want to. It's like a dance, right? That you don't want to um, mm -hmm. just push it away, and you don't want to dive into it. It's like where can we find that balance? where a person can feel empowered even if they went through a really tough experience and still be able to have that resilience and empowerment to create a life that, you know, most people wouldn't be able to do if they just kind of stuck with that label. Yeah, it's certainly one of the biggest challenges for us because uh, we're, we're approaching the mind from a different paradigm mm. than uh, the medical model than the materialistic philosophy of science. Mm. Uh, we acknowledge science and, and the, the valuable information that it provides about the brain and the, and the body, but we know that's not the end of the story. From uh, these wisdom traditions, we know there's a lot more to the human being than meets the eye. Mm. Uh, and when we, when we approach the mind from that perspective, uh, it's a very different place that it takes you to. Mm. Because we know consciousness operates on the principle of expectation. So if you expect only to be healed, only to, to go back to normalcy, mm. that's what you're going to experience because you've kind of set it up that way, that in your mind you believe that that's what's possible.